Hey John, we were talking about the use of ceramic tiles in a flexible rifle armor system um, and why we decided to go with an AL203 tile. Um, even though, like you mentioned, AL203 um, is softer and heavier than a silicon carbide. Now, one thing to note that nobody really talks about is that the tiles in Frass, um, which these were pulled directly out of, are actually much thinner um, than the other armor that we're talking about. So these come in, you know, usually just under four millimeters. Let me grab the flat edge there. Uh, yep, yeah, I mean, that one's pretty much exactly there. Um, so they're actually much, much thinner um, than the competing silicon carbide tiles, which are about 6.1 millimeters. Um, these are a different version. These are about seven, but for this comparison, um, they will do. Now, um, <clears throat> because they're so much thinner, um, the weight is actually very similar. Um, and I find that there's a lot of benefits to using AL203 over silicon carbide. For example, in a flexible rifle armor system, there's an array where these guys are moving up against one another. You can take AL203 and try and break these things against one another and it's not gonna happen. Uh, that's some of the glue from the vest I pulled it off. This doesn't have one. So, you know, whatever I do here, we're not seeing flaking or breaking. Where if I do that same thing with a silicon carbide tile, for example, uh, let's make sure that these are clean as they are, they start to break and fray, or break and uh, flake pretty easily. Um, and that's what I don't really like about uh, these tiles in a flexible system where they're meant to constantly be rubbing up against one another. Um, you know, to see this, I'm gonna do a very unscientific way to show the difference between how brittle these are. We're just going to take this and we're going to throw it to the floor and see what happens here. A little chip there, nothing big, try it a little harder. And that is one of the things I'm talking about. Upon impact, these things also just turn to dust, where the AL203 breaks in a much more controlled manner. Um, and I doubt that we'd even be able to get this thing to shatter on the floor. I'm gonna try this uh, even harder than the last one. See, there's just nothing wrong with it. We'll try it again. We have this big long run here. And that, whoop, that one's <laughs> way up there. But as you can see, there's just not that issue. I don't, that's again, some of that glue. I just don't like having tiles that are meant to rub and move against one another that break so easily. And uh, if I can get into a ballistic test here, I'll show you how they look when actually impacted by a bullet. They are wildly different. <laughs> 